Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. We are out there in our Friday Funko hunt. We are coming up to the mall. Uh, they have a few new things over at Hot Topic. I saw that they had some new Loki pops. They also have the brand new Hot Topic exclusive General Grievous. So go ahead and check that out. We're gonna stop over at Box Lunch and see if they do have that T'Challa Star-Lord. And I know they also were putting out that um, Sword Art Azuna as well. So we'll go ahead and check all those out, but let's go ahead and get hunting. There looks like there is a few good things here that are new. Uh, so down here, it looks like they have the brand new Hot Topic exclusive Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That one's a pretty cool one with the little black Hot Topic exclusive sticker. Pretty nice. They got a ton of them here. Looks like here they do have the brand new General Grievous Hot Topic exclusive. Looks like a few back there. Uh, so that one's definitely very nice, picking that one up. Uh, they do have the new Jack Skellington in Snowmobile, the brand new pop ride. They do have a restock of the Hades. They did not have any chases, though, unfortunately. And then I'm surprised to see these here. Doctor Strange from the brand new Spider-Man No Way Home. And there is Spider-Man in the integrated suit. Definitely really cool ones. I am picking both of those up for sure. And then down here, they do have a lot of the McDonald's one, Drummond McNugget, along with some of the other earlier McNugget ones. Do have some Parks and Rec, Alice in Wonderland as well from the new sets. Uh, and then it looks like over here, oh, I did not show Sylvie from Loki. We had it actually over here too. Definitely grabbing that one as well to go with my Loki collection. And then they have some of the Pride Pops, plenty of the Pop Rocks Pops with the Seinfeld Pop thrown in there for some reason. Uh, and then they also have some of the other Hot Topic exclusive, some of the older ones like Gambit that just came out a couple weeks ago, more Seinfeld, and then some more uh, White Lantern Sinestro up there along with some Seinfeld mini moments. So another successful hunt today at Hot Topic. Got some cool ones. There was actually one that I don't think showed on the video because it was the last one on the shelf right after I recorded. I realized it was the last one on the shelf, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, and it is the Sam from Trick or Treat, the Hot Topic exclusive, which is really cool. I know it sold out at first when it went on sale. I don't know if it's still online, but they had it in the store, so that was really cool. So I was able to grab that along with a few other ones. So let's head over to Box Lunch and see what else we have over there, and then we'll head home. Over here in Box Lunch, they have a couple things that I've seen before, but they do have this alien from They Live, which is cool. Some foodies, the White Castle, hot tamales, and fruity pebbles, which is cool to see. Looks like they have down here that Gangster Bart and Freezer fourth form. And ooh, they got some sodas. First time I saw sodas in a while over here. So I might pick up one or two of those Frankenstein Juniors. And then they got the Hydra Stomper. And then these other what ifs. Still don't see the Metallic T'Challa Star Lord. I'll have to ask if they got that. And then they still got plenty of the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast from Funkon. Don't see any Kronk. So Kronk might be gone. And then they got the regular Alice, Fritzy, and Common Buckle Pop. And it looks like they did have just a few as soon as left, which is awesome, so I'm definitely taking one of those up today too. So that's a good pickup from Box Lunch. I haven't gotten anything from there in a while outside of the Funcon exclusives. So I was able to get a couple sodas, hunt for a chase there, that Frankenstein Jr., which definitely really liked the eye in that one, uh, and then picked up that Asuna. So it's a good day today, so let's head home and check this out. And we are back home and we got some good pops today. I'm definitely happy with the hunt. Uh, the last few hunts that I did, I got a few pops, didn't get a huge haul, but today I think we definitely got a huge haul with a lot of cool stuff that just came out this week. So I'm very, very happy about it. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. But while we're getting to these uh, bags out, it's a good reminder, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Very, very close to a thousand. Maybe we can hit it today. Uh, let's see, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps out a lot. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pops from Hot Topic. And I got one pop and two sodas from Box Lunch. So uh, I was very excited to see sodas because I haven't really seen sodas a lot. I know that earlier this year, uh, there were plenty of sodas, you know, that would pop up over at Box Lunch, but they didn't have any for a while. They had some at Hot Topic, I think, a few months ago, but I haven't seen much, really, just for the conventions. Really, it's the only time I see sodas now. But let's start at Hot Topic, and we're going to start with a couple of horror pops, which are really, really cool. And first one is Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is actually a really cool pop, a creepy pop, an updated version. I think they had one come out in, like, 
2017 or something like that. Uh, but this one is brand new, just hit stores. It was supposed to hit stores last week for Friday the 13th, but it got delayed. And they announced that on Hot Topic, but it started to hit stores. I think it hit mine on Wednesday. They still had plenty there, which was cool. So I, we did pick that one up. It does have the black Hot Topic exclusive sticker. So a little bit of a different looking sticker than the other ones where they normally have the yellow one. They have had black ones in the past, uh, but this was a little bit of a different look. So I wonder if they're trying to do that for that Halloween season, black, you know, broody and mysterious. But this pop is definitely a really cool looking one. Leatherface with that creepy, creepy mask. We kind of see his mouth coming out the front of it uh, and how it's kind of stapled down. That looks really, really nasty. And in the wrong, the uh, the base of his skull, kind of where their hairline is. Uh, it's just so, so freaky there. Uh, but they have the apron with some blood splattered on it and the hammer in their right hand. So definitely a really creepy, but cool looking pop. Uh, I honestly do prefer the earlier one just because it does look a little bit more a little bit more creepy but this is still a cool pop to, to you know to have to kick off the Halloween season because of course we all know now that Halloween it starts in August apparently so this is cool to be able to pick this up uh, to kick off that Halloween season and also to kick off our Halloween season we have Sam from Trick or Treat so this is really really cool this was i think the last one they had in the store and to my surprise it's actually in pretty good condition just like a small little intent on the back but you can't even tell it's not a crease or anything but this was a good pop to get and these sam uh, trick-or-treats have been actually very popular i know the last number of ones have actually gone up in value a lot uh and this one i know sold out online so i was able to pick it up in store and get a part of the buy one get one half off so that's a really really cool pop and we see sam with that mask on having that orange kind of pumpkin looking head definitely a really creepy with the x's in the eyes uh and you have that tattered kind of suit on uh like it's a pajamas and that i guess it's a lollipop i actually have not seen a trick or treat but i've seen this character all over the place and uh it looks like he has a bite that was taken out of that lollipop so definitely a cool creepy pop next over at hot topic the big exclusive that they had released today was general grievous now this is a brand new update of general grievous and we do have the original one right behind us i think i am going to do a video where i compare the two a little bit closer uh so i'd be definitely really interested to see how they differ i know the coloring is different but other than that uh, the, he does have the lightsabers, so I know that's definitely a cool upgrade there because we all love General Grievous when he's wielding multiple lightsabers. So this one's definitely really cool. And I like how they added a little bit more detail with the mechanical arms. Those look really awesome. And even with the mechanical feet there, kind of has those claws, those four claws coming out of the bottom of his legs. That's really sick. And you even see some detail where he's showing like his... Um, his body's all tattered up. So that's pretty cool look as well. And then of course on that black Star Wars base, Star Wars uh, base for the pop. And then he has those blue and green lightsabers in his, ha in his uh, hands there. Now the next three that we got from Hot Topic is all from Marvel. Uh, so we have from the brand new Disney Plus series Loki, we have Sylvie. Now this one is definitely one of the ones I was looking forward to the the most of grabbing. I know we already got Ravana Renslayer, uh, and then they do have a number of other pops on the back, like Loki and uh, Mobius from the TVA, and then they also have President Loki and Kid Loki. They did just put up the Alligator Loki Hot Topic exclusive, um, excuse me, online that I was able to grab, uh, and then I think they have the classic Loki that's just supposed to be coming from box look so we got some more that are coming really soon uh but i definitely liked this sylvie and they also have a glow in the dark sylvie from hot from walmart which i was able to order too so we'll be getting a lot more of these in and i'll show them off once i have them on the channel but i really like this sylvie pop i like the detail with her with her jacket hanging over that's really cool and i like the sword that she's holding out but one of the best parts about this character i love her hair and they definitely captured that here and the um in the 
uh, tiara, that kind of the, the crown that she has on her head with one of the horns uh, cut and then the other one looking up as well. And she's all in that black and green uh, with that armor too. So that's definitely a really cool pop. And I loved the Loki series. So I can't wait to get uh, the President Loki and put them next to each other. I think that's gonna be a great pairing. Now these next pops, I was, I'm a little bit surprised they came out in August, but I think I saw they started hit stores in August. Uh, Cause the movie's not coming out to December, but I'm definitely happy we got it. And it, the first one we have is Spider-Man with the integrated suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. And this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Cannot wait to see what happens. And it, it seems like it's going to be the most bonkers MCU movie yet. And then we're going to be able to lead that into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is coming right after it, which is probably going to be the next bonkers movie. So cannot wait for all the bonkers stuff coming in the MCU. But definitely a cool and upgraded suit for Spider-Man. We have a few different pops that we'll see one of them that Doctor Strange next. But they also have the gold and black suit as well. And then I know they have another wave that's what's coming after that with some of the secondary characters like MJ and Ned and probably some more I'm sure a whole lot more with the other characters that are have been reported to pop up in this movie so definitely this pop I want definitely one of the top ones I wanted to get from this wave looks like he has that like it says called integrated suit but integrated with what looks like it's integrated with a little bit of magic so you see he has kind of the uh, I guess it kind of looks like a little bit like an arc reactor on his chest uh, but it has these the webs in the middle, but it looks like it's a little bit of magic uh, Like that Doctor Strange uses and then out of his out of his web shooter He has a different kind of web that's coming out. And it looks like he's also using some sorcery there So is Doctor Strange teaching spider-man how to use magic? It's a little interesting. Did they come up with some sort of technology that could recreate that magic? I'm definitely interested interested to see that but with the suit, it looks like it's a mix between the old suit and the Iron Spider suit. So it's a little bit of an upgrade there. I definitely really, really like that suit. I think that looks awesome. Getting a hot toy of that, I think is going to be really, really cool. Uh, and then he's also on the stand. So he is up in the air and he's shooting that web. So I can't wait to see what this all means. It all just leads up a, little, a lot of questions, but I don't think it's a spoiler. I know a lot of people were worried about that. I think this suit is just so, so cool, and it looks great as a pop. And like we said, the next one is going to be Doctor Strange in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, this one looks a little bit more regular. Don't really know what he's doing here. This is definitely a, uh, they tried to go as far away from spoilers as they could with this. I knew they announced a while ago that Benedict Cumberbatch was, was going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, but... Do not know what he's going to be doing so I'm definitely very excited to see what he is doing he has that eye of Agamotto hanging around his chest and then it looks like he's using a little bit of magic with his right hand and he's holding a shovel and so he has some boots on it looks like he has a little bit of a winter coat so I guess he is doing maybe some show snuffling but maybe he's using some magic with it right not really sure but definitely a cool looking pop and I love Doctor Strange and cannot wait to see what he's doing in this movie so that's everything that we picked up from Hot Topic. We did pick up one other pop from Box Lunch here and a couple sodas. Now I'm not gonna open up the sodas here because I'm actually gonna save them for a separate video, uh, but I'm gonna show off the one pop that we got from Box Lunch and that is Asuna from Sword Art Online. Now this is definitely a pop with a lot of beautiful detail. I know there's the common, which you can see right there on the back. I think Kit Row also has a Hot Topic exclusive too, but this is definitely a beautiful pop. Look at that here on the stand. She's kind of floating in the air. Has that white sword in her right hand. That's that beautiful kind of red blonde hair. Definitely like it. And the costume looks great as well with that white dress with the pink outlines and that pink logo there on her leg too. So this is just a really cool looking pop. So I definitely wanted to pick it up because you can always appreciate a good looking pop. And just to show you the pop, the sodas again, not opening them up today, but we ended up getting two of the Frankenstein Jr. So from Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles. So there's a look at the soda there. And I think it is a metallic chase. So they do feel a little heavy, 
So hopefully that means that we do have a chase in here, but we will be doing that in a separate video a little bit later. I, I cannot wait to open these up on the channel. I wish I had some more sodas because I'd rather not open up with just two sodas, uh, but oh well, I should have. I, I can't really get any more sodas anywhere else. But that's the haul that we got today. So we have our two sodas, which we'll look at later. We have Asuna from so uh, Sword Art Online. And then we also got Sylvie, Spider-Man with the integrated suit, Doctor Strange, General Grievous, Sam from Trick or Treat, and Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I think that's a good haul, a big haul today. I haven't had one like this in a while where we got a bunch of stuff. Because uh, normally it's only like one or two releases a week. But I think we're getting into the point where all a lot of stuff that was put on pre-order in the spring and early summer. Now finally starting to come out and it's now just bubbling up. So a lot of really cool pops. And also some surprises like we had for General Grievous which we just learned about just a few weeks ago. Finally hitting stores. And I am excited for everything else that we're going to see soon. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about our big haul today? Have any of you guys been able to pick up any of these pops? And let me know what your favorite is of what we got. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you can, hit that subscribe button as well. Go ahead and hit that like button. Get us to 1,000 subscribers. We might be doing it today. That would be awesome. And if so, I'll try to see what maybe something special we can do. I know a lot of you guys have asked for maybe a collection tour uh, or a collection review. Let me know what you think, what you want to see us do for that 1,000 subscriber celebration in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.